Welcome to MotoringNorthwest.com and the all new Dacia Duster. Or Dacia, if you must pronounce it that way. Yes, it is new. It's still inherently the same shape, but new lights, new grille, new lights at the back, very nice lights at the back. And you have these new four intakes and protectors on the side. Um, it still remains the SUV for the family on a budget. Uh, they start at £9,995 and go all the way up to £18,695 per chance you want the top of the range one. This is the comfort model, more or less middle of the range. This one's a two-wheel drive and it has the 115 brake horsepower um, 1600cc petrol engine and as I said it's two wheel drive is this one uh, it's the SUV for those who really don't want to go off road the four wheel drive ones and the all wheel drive ones I'll tell you now are very very good off road because they use the Nissan X-Trail all wheel drive system uh, and an excellent job of using it they do to a degree it's my considered opinion it's a better off-roader than the Nissan is. I've had the all-wheel drive versions of these in some very, very interesting places and they've never complained once and they just hold themselves back out. Right, as I said, this is the two-wheel drive petrol. Uh, exterior changes, interior, very nice inside. It's, it's, a, it's an example of simplicity. Very easy to keep clean. Hard surfaces, yes, but so what? very very comfortable inside nice upholstery nice leather steering wheel slick five-speed gearbox i've been getting about 34 to 35 to the gallon out of it and just over 40 on a motorway run um if you're after performance and acceleration this really isn't it it gets to 62 miles per hour in a leisurely 11.9 seconds and has a top speed of 107 miles per hour which, as we all know, is 30 miles per hour more than the legal max, so what's your problem? It's very nice to drive. It's comfortable to drive. Um, sways a little bit on the corners. It's relatively soft suspension. Um, but what more do you want? It's very practical. It holds five adults with ease. It holds plenty of luggage. It's, in my opinion, they're a good-looking motor. Really good-looking motor with these. Uh, and the one thing I will say, it's an absolutely blinding sound system in it. Uh, no CD players, you use the stick, but the sounds that it puts out are absolutely tremendous. So yeah, it's got a fantastic radio in it. Dab radio, Bluetooth, all the bits and pieces you might be looking for. Uh, the sat-nav is, shall we say, basic. And if you want to know where you're going in Europe, it's going to cost you an extra £90. Uh, this particular one with the few toys on it that it's got um, starts at £13,395, this particular one £14,130. They are not a bank breaker for anybody looking for a common sense SUV. The thing that counts against the Dacia, and it's, it's not its fault, is the badge on the front and the name on the front. Uh, if you can get over yourself and get over badge snobbery, there's nothing wrong with these. Dacia as a whole are a good range of practical, sensibly priced cars. But the Duster, in my opinion, is a great little vehicle. I would be happy owning one of these and driving around in one of these. So if I'll say that, then what's wrong with them? Um, that's roughly about it. There's not a lot more you can say. It's an attractive car. Metallic paint is extra. It's £495 extra. But personally, I would go for this. I think that uh, this colour... This copper colour, copper metallic, is a fantastic looking colour. Um, nice 16 inch alloys. It looks great. It's nice and practical to drive. It's easy to drive. It's comfortable to drive. What more do you want? Uh, you can read the full review on motoringnorthwest.com and hear the verbal review, the spoken review, on my radio show, the Backseat Driver radio show, on Drystone Radio 103.5 FM. Or go to motoringnorthwest.com, click the big blue dry stone banner at the top of the page uh, and follow the links. Until then, it's Motoring Northwest saying goodbye and if you're after an SUV, you won't go far wrong with a Dacia Duster. You'll also have plenty of cash left in the bank. <laughs>